Yes, it's cricket time now on the Sportsmax Zone. Round six of the Cricket West Indies Regional four-day championship. Let's start our day two recap from Sabina Park, where defending champions Guyana Harpy Eagles are in firm control against the Jamaica Scorpions. Gerard Morrisili is live on location. Yeah, thank you, Lance. And a firm control they are in a day have a firm lead right now of 271. Jamaica Scorpions still batting in their first innings, 271. They trail by uh, the score so far. Guyana, who resumed their innings on 278 for seven at the start of the, of the day, they ended on a 424 all out, led by 101 not out by their captain, Tevin Imlak. Kamal Savory, he continued his innings, but he was removed for 155 before they were dispersed. And the first hour, it wasn't really much of a, uh, an attacking mood by the Guyana Harpy Eagles batsman. But after losing Savory, Imlak took firm control of the innings and he started to push the scoring and got to his, sec his third first class 100. And uh, what a day was in with the bat and the ball for both for the Harpy Eagles. And when they went into to bowl, uh, they got a really early breakthrough with the fourth ball of the innings through Isaiah Torn getting rid of a Carl, Carlos Brown, uh, who was nicked down, well, who was LBW'd, and, well, nicked behind, and it was a really good catch uh, in slip. So from there, though, that they really weren't able to recover the Scorpions. It did look like an uphill battle for them, scoring this, hundred, this 424 runs that they trailed by uh, at the start of the innings, because their biggest score in the first innings for this season up until this point was 372, which was two matches ago, and it didn't seem as if they would be, they would be able with all the batting troubles that they've had, would be able to get to that score uh, in during the day or during the first innings, it's, especially not in my books. I didn't think they were capable, uh, only because of how poor their batting has been this season. And plus two, this Guyana Harpy Eagles bowling attack has been the best that they've, uh, that they've faced throughout the season. Two of the spinners who led the attack, uh, they obviously won versus Sami Permal, the most successful first class bowler in the Caribbean, in the West Indies, in this part of the world, and then Gudekish Moti, who is currently in the test team uh, around the West Indies setup as well, with lots of experience, and they both uh, capitalized on today. Bersami Permal, he was the main enforcer, bowling in tandem with his partner, Gudekish Moti, five for 54 he has so far, a brilliant bowling spell from him, 20-odd uh, overs he's bowled so far, and I'm pretty sure he will continue tomorrow if they don't have more, uh, if they don't have to, to, to bowl, uh, uh, much much further on tomorrow morning uh, but uh, Versami is with me let me have a chat with him quickly Versami uh, really good bowling performance from you today when you came out here 424 do you think you were really in a good position to go for a win from the start yeah definitely um anything over 300 runs in in forest last week it, it it proved to be very difficult for for teams and um having said that with, with 424 on the board we are in a chance and it showed that and the capability with our batting, I think the lower order of the batting has been dominant throughout the, the tournament. Um, I think Savory and, and the, the captain lead from the front, I think both 100 and even Moti with a partnership with Savory. Having said that, um, I think bowling wise, we know that the wicket looking the game's them, um, the spinner was being the most successful on this Sabina Park wicket. Um, and we capitalize on it and jump like you said earlier that jamaica batting wasn't up to standard from the start in the, uh, the tournament and we look for capitalize on that as well yeah I, I, and do you think though that they would have gotten too many runs so far 153 for nine they are right now the scorpions but at one point it looked as if they were not going to make it past 120 do you think though that they got too many runs uh well it's cricket um you know there's always a partnership here and there and at the same time i think we we, we did or part as bowling, the other is a partnership, but having said that with 424 on the board, um, we look to get the the last wicket early tomorrow and, and see how it goes from there. You have now 630 wickets in uh, first class cricket, 33 five wicket halls. What is it like playing this form of the game and dominating as much as you did? Well, the enjoyed uh, playing for the cricket. Um, over the years, we've been very successful playing for the 
cricket. Um, I love love it. Um, it tests the patient, the, the character, everything, and I just love in playing for the cricket. Yeah, you know, 271 runs now. Uh, slim, well, a really good lead actually. One wicket in hand, the first innings for Scorpions. Do you think you can make them back again tomorrow morning and go on and win the game? Well, um, hopefully, we, as a as a group. As a team, we make the decision and come back tomorrow. All right, thank you so much, Verasami. Yeah, so yeah, Verasami Perma there. Uh, the Scorpions with a, 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 a lot of work to do. He pulled really well today. Uh, used the pitch well. The batsmen were almost clueless when it came to him. Pete Salmon was the only one who took him on a little bit, but then in the end, he was able to get Salmon back for all of the, the licks, I guess, that you would say he got uh, off of him. But it was a really good day for... Uh, the Guyana Harpy Eagles, Jamaica Scorpions, they ended on 153 for nine at stumps. Romaine Morris is not out on 21, Marquino Milley on 13, and it was a, a, a good showing from them uh, because Romaine Morris actually uh, retired hurt earlier in the innings and then coming on to the end of play, he came back. And uh, I have Tevin with me now, the captain. Tevin, uh, tell me about the day's play so far. What do you think about the, the position of the game? Oh, obviously, we're in a very strong position um, coming from 60 for 6 and uh, coming by a score 420 runs. You know, it was excellent from the players. Um, it showed a lot of character, you know, for a, a fairly inexperienced side. And, um, yeah, I think we're in a very good position. Uh, position. Uh, hopefully, we can get the next wicket and, and, you know, move the game forward. Yeah, talk to me about your innings, though. At the start of the day, you weren't very aggressive with your approach, but after losing Savory, you really took command of the innings because I guess you had about three wickets left in hand after Kamal was out. Uh, but tell me about your approach and how you were able to push on from there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, um, it's all about partnerships, you know, when you're, when you're batting. And Savory took the aggressive route, you know, in that partnership, and it was important that, you know, I, I took most of the strike in the back end. And, and um, yeah, obviously, as a batter, you need to take responsibility, so, yeah. Yeah, and now tell me about the position now. Uh, are you going to be looking to put them into the bat again if you get that early wicket in the morning? Uh, still, still debating that. All right, well, moment. we look forward to seeing you. Thank yeah, you so cheers. much, David. Yeah, so that's it. So from Sabina Park here, Guyana Harpy Eagles with a 271-run lead. Got Scorpions trailing by 271 runs. The score so far, Guyana Harpy Eagles 424 in their first innings. Uh, Jamaica Scorpions 153 for nine. They have a lot of work to do. We'll see what happens on Friday. That's it from Sabina Park. Yeah, thank you very much, Gerard. So the Guyanese... Uh Continuing to rebound in the tournament, started the season as defending champions with a loss and a draw against the Leewards and against TNT. But they have won all their games since then, and they are set for another victory here. Let's move on now with uh, the other matches on tap four today. Uh, we did have at the Coolidge Cricket Ground in Antigua, Gillon Tyson's 5 for 50, starring for the Windward Islands vo Volcanoes as they bundled out the West Indies Academy for 158. Volcanoes in their second innings are 165 for seven. That's a lead of 169. Alec Athanase has so far top scored with 89 against Joshua Bishop, two for 30. He had four wickets in the first innings. And Ashmi Ned, two for 32. Scores in the match, the Volcanoes 162 and 165 for seven. The West Indies Academy 158. Now over to the Sir Frank Warren Memorial Ground. This is in St. Augustine, Trinidad and Tobago. A double hundred, 218 from Amir Jangu and 157 from Jason Mohammed propelled the Red Force to 591 for seven declared. Amar Goodrich was the pick of the combined campuses and colleges bowlers with five for 92. CCC in their first innings are 109 for five, still trailing by a massive 482 runs at stumps on day two. Terence Hines, two for 15. And Anderson Phillip, 2 for 29, are the leading wicket takers for the Red Force so far. We're still in TNT, moving now to Port of Spain at the Queen's Park Oval, where Barbados Pride amassed a massive 542 for 9 declared, led by skipper Craig Brathwaite, 189, along with 127 from his test teammate Roston Chase and Zachary McCaskey's 101. Rakeem Cornwell led the Hurricanes bowlers with 5 for 132. The Leeward Islands Hurricanes closed in reply at 97 for one with Casey Carty unbeaten on 64 and Mikhail Louis on 25. The Hurricanes still trail by 445 runs. So lots of uh, interesting action going on in the West Indies four-day championship. We go to break. We'll be back with more on The Zone after this.